Today on the channel, we're back at it with the Masters of the Universe Origins with the Mattel Creations exclusive Cyclone. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another Masters Universe Origins unboxing and review and today on the channel we got Cyclone the Mattel Creations exclusive but for all your Cyclone needs and a whole lot more make sure you go to Mattel Creations but everything else He-Man head over to Entertainment Earth and use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on in stock items anything over 79 does ship free got to get a deal out there and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. We'll do some comparisons later on in this video, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's see what old Cyclone is up to. And he is in the deluxe packaging here. We did see that with the Palace Guards, most recently Moss Man. Uh, we've definitely seen packs like this in the past. Personally, would have preferred him on the traditional Origins card. These just feel a little bit out of place as there's not a whole lot of them. But it is what it is. You can't fight City Hall at the end of the day. But big bubble window here for, of course, Cyclone. A bit of a deluxe figure, as we see. Beautiful artwork at the top. The classic Masters logo as well. Retro posing, or modern posing for retro play right there. It does say Collector's Edition. Torso spins 360 for a tornado attack. How about that? And then Cyclone Heroic Fist Flinging Tornado is what he is. And he is new for 2024. He's taking on Hordak and the Horde and all the artwork there. Very cool wraparound packaging. Six and up on this one. Five-year-olds, there's the door. See yourself out. That's what I'm going to say right there. Masters Universe Cyclone. Once again, the packaging wrapping around. Heroic Fist Fleeing Tornado on the side once again. And then beautiful big artwork on the back. Look at that. He's got in the midst of Hordak. Uh, up there is like a little spirit there. A little Fright Zone action. Masters Universe Origin. And we see Moss Man, his fellow big packaging... Uh, brother right there in the package climbing up the wall to give a hand i guess it'll lend a, a hand and it's gonna smell like a uh, pine i guess i don't know what's gonna happen there but that is the packaging very very cool very uh, used to this by now as we do know for the most part we do get a little action right here on the back shows a little how-to action how to give him the old spin o doom looking good and i always like a little instruction never hurt anybody i don't think see you later goodbye plastic prison oh he's ready to go he's got effect pieces he's ready to party uh, ready to go and then you do get uh oh we're locked in we're locked in with some of these effect pieces i better use my scissors so i don't cut my fingers off with the knife that's all we need is blood at the table it's happened before i'm sure it'll happen again let's try not to make it happen again though how about see you later goodbye we do get the fog of war all oh, the fog of war it's always dangerous and he's got lord grasp in here which is an easter egg of course easter egg of course to walmart collector's con oh lord grasp terror i didn't get them unfortunately i'm on the hunt uh, at my local walmart's i guess is what i'll have to be right there but it is a traditional comic book here and i don't even see i see extendar in here i don't even see lord oh there he is okay i was gonna say i don't even see lord grasp pictured in this what are we doing but he's in there a little bit. Just briefly, briefly, he's in there. But uh, very cool. Always love the comic books. Always a little extra feel to these things with those. Now we're going to get old Cyclone out of the package. And we're going to dive into the accessories first, like we usually do. Very cheap plastic on this. Just easily ripping apart. You know, I could rip it apart like Hulk Hogan in a t-shirt. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. Very cheap plastic on that one for whatever reason. But then we do get the spinning function on him. How's this work exactly? I should have read the notes a little bit better. Let me just lock it up. What are we doing here? It's got the little spinner there. Mine's not spinning though, unfortunately. I don't know. I don't know. You gotta be smarter than the figure, I think, is what you gotta do. And unfortunately, Cyclone, very smart. He's one of the smartest figures you'll ever come across. I'll figure it out once I play with it a little bit. Look at the instructions if I have to again. Get him all straightened out, ready to go. But we do, of course, got his big, what do you call this? What's the technical term for something like this? The plug into the backpack? I guess we could call it that. And I guess it does go that way. Pop that bad boy right in. Actually, I think I got that upside down. I don't know. Which way does it go? I got, I got old ones to uh, compare to right here, I guess. I could put it that way. I and mean, I guess it does go that way. 
Feels and looks a bit strange. I guess that's right. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just overthinking it today on this review, I guess is what I'm doing. But that does plug in very easily into the backpack, of course. Moves up and down all around. All in red. All nice plastic, shiny plastic there. So we do have that. We do get his little shield here because you're flipping around. you got to protect yourself. So he's got a little yellow shield going on. And then you got these two extra hands that don't really look like hands, but they're little tornadoes because he's spinning. He's spinning really quick like a kid with a sparkler is what he's doing. And getting that loop effect going on. He's got a little tornado action. Very cool here. Very on brand for him. We've never seen these before with a cyclone, so I'm here for that. That's something different, something pretty cool. And then he does got traditional hands. He's got the splayed out hand. He's got a little gripping hands. He's ready to go. He's ready to be cyclone all day long. Now, one of the coolest things about cyclone always has been that kind of reticular, lenticular. I tell you what, I'm off my game today. What is that called? Lenticular. You know what I mean, but he's got that in the chest right there. You kind of turn it around. It's a little bit of like the galaxy. You can see, uh, I see Uranus. Yeah, I see Uranus out there, buddy. I see Saturn. Uh, I think this is back in the days when Pluto was a planet. We see that way back out there. All the galaxy hits being played. All the stars, the sun, and the moon. Oh, it's all in there. A uh, whole galaxy in your chest. Can you believe that? He does got the blue and yellow attack throughout on him here. He just got those little discs around his uh, shins here and his forearms looking very interesting. Kind of matches the back here. And he's got that around his head as well. Little helmet going on. Blue face like a young faker. Why so sad, Cyclone? Uh, but he's got a blue face there. Very stoic, but a uh, seemingly nice enough i think he's a nice enough guy i do believe got a little fins right there of course on the bicep as well and that's about it you got the little spinning gimmick here that i couldn't figure out but i'm sure i'll figure it out one of these days huh huh one of these days can i figure that out and actually this thing can go on the top or the bottom you can choose your own cyclone adventure you want to plug this in the top part of his backpack or the back part, it's up to you. You've got to just choose that own adventure. That's what you have to do sometimes. You gotta make a choice. And if you refuse to make a choice, guess what? Getty Lee told me you still have made a choice. So choose your own adventure. I kind of like it up high on him here, uh, temporarily at least I do. Looking pretty good. He does got a nice uh, Saturn, I guess, in his belt. I missed that as well, so that does look pretty good. But why is he not spinning? Do I have to spin him myself? What are we doing here? Am I new? He should be spinning better than that. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is, but it is Cyclone. A very cool one, and one that's been requested for many Origin fans. We were all hoping, when are we going to get this? When are we going to get this? Well, as of a couple of weeks ago, went up for pre-order. I think it sold out in about two and a half hours or so on the Master, or the Mattel Creations Masters Universe side, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He does fit on a ringside stand for those keeping track at home. His arms do, of course, go all the way around. Hands removable, as we know, and that's where you can kind of plug these bad boys in. I don't know. Kind of a cool feature, but I don't know if uh, I need it necessarily, but it does look interesting here. It's like he's going to suck somebody up into his tornado. Oop, lost it. Lost it onto the floor. The floor gods get that one. We'll give it up to the floor gods. You got to you gotta do a sacrifice every once in a while, but the hands are removable very easily there. Uh, hands back and forth, side to side, removable. Bicep cut, of course, up and down, side to side. Waist articulation goes all the way around if you want him to. Spinning all around for us. Big ol' splits for Cyclone if you need them. Legs do go up. Bend at the knee, side to side. You do get a boot cut, ankles back and forth, side to side. Playing all them usual Masterverse or Masters Universe Origins, I should say in this case, uh, articulation hits. And like I said, fits on the ringside stand perfectly. So there it is. The exclusive Cyclone. A lot of bells and whistles. But does it hit play all the hits for you? Let me know in the comments down below. And I did say we got some other ones. Always like this one best. This is, of course, um, the one that we got from uh, the Classics Collection. A Classics guy at the end of the day. You guys know I wrote a book on something classic. We'll talk about that in a second. But always did like this one a whole lot. Looking very good there. And then you got the 2000 series as well. He's got a better spinner on him here, though. He can just go around, 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 around all day long. And twice on Sunday if he needs to. But we do got... Three different versions here. I don't have the OG one in my collection. Don't have any OG He-Man guys. I had to get rid of them all. Well, I didn't have to, but I did back in the 90s. Sad state of affairs. Not going back to get the rest of those. Not going to do that here. But Cyclone, pretty good figure from where I sit, of course, right here at this very table. But what say you? Let me know in the comments down below. And you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day. 
and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this very YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at Search Kyle Peterson. And being a classics guy, I wrote a book on it, The Complete Guide to the Classic Superstar Series. Almost 700 pages of content right here. I appreciate all the support. If you do want an autographed copy, hit me up, of course, over at SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and Instagram. Or just head over to Amazon, get your soft cover, Barnes & Noble for the exclusive hardcover edition. So for a little Cyclone, a little He-Man, a little Masters of the Universe, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.